Today, I'm going to a lab which is being upgraded into a state-of-the-art testing lab for genetically modified organisms. Let's go to the lab. I'm at the biotechnology unit of the Industrial Technology Institute. In fact, there are two other labs in Sri Lanka that are being upgraded simultaneously. One is at the National Plant Quarantine Services and the other one is at the Agricultural Biotechnology Center in the University of Peradeni. These labs are being upgraded by the ongoing National Biosafety Project which is implemented by the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations FAO and with the Ministry of Environment with the funding from the Global Environment Facility. With these labs, Sri Lanka will have the capacity to conduct regulatory testing for genetically modified organisms. This is one of the equipment that the project has provided to these labs. It's called real-time PCR instrument. This machine can make many copies of a specific sequence of DNA from a biological sample like a seed or a leaf and you can see that as it happens. After about one and a half hours, the results are ready. If you get a curve like this, it proves that the specific sequence of DNA that you are looking for is present in the sample. If that sequence represents a certain genetic modification, that means the sample is positive for that genetic modification. If you want to find out if a certain genetic modification is approved by the authorities of Sri Lanka, you can go to Sri Lanka Biosafety Clearing House website which is also an output of the National Biosafety Project. This is ultimately for your safety.